Hello, how you doing today? DeAndre Smith here, and this lesson is to show you the ins and outs on multiplying polynomials. Now, in multiplying polynomials, we are going to first start out with the simple ones, um, the one-term expressions, and then after we get done with the one-term expressions, then we're going to elevate and go to the the large ones with quantities. So, without further ado, let's go to the board. Now, before we get started, we need to first find out what is a polynomial. Now, a polynomial is an expression of many terms. Now, in these terms, we may have variables, we may have exponents, we may have all types of anything. But in a nutshell, a polynomial is an expression of many terms. Now, we have different types of polynomials. We have a monomial, which is an expression with one term. We have binomial, which is an expression of two terms. And we have trinomials, which is an expression of three terms. But to simplify things, um, we usually don't say we have a monomial or a binomial or a trinomial. Usually we group them all into one big category and call them polynomials. Okay, now we're going to first start off with multiplying exponents. So x times x is equal to x squared. Um, why? Because if we have x to the first power times x to the first power, when we multiply exponents, we really are adding the exponent together. So that's how we get to. So x times x squared is going to equal x to the third because I have x to the first times x to the first times x to the first and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. So x to the third times x to the second would be x to the fifth because x times x times x times x times x is x to the fifth. Now this is the tricky one. If I have the quantity of x to the second power raised to the third power, what that is saying is I'm going to take x to the second power and I'm going to multiply it by itself three times. So this becomes x to the sixth power. Oftentimes in algebra I've seen students make um, careless mistakes with the rules. For example, they may say that x plus x is equal to x squared or they may say that x times x is equal to 2x so hopefully in these next clips that are to come uh, we will eradicate some of those errors so that we can move forward now we're going to talk about multiplying exponent with different variables so in the first example if I had x times y that's going to give me xy if I had x times the quantity of xy well, that's the same thing as saying x times x times y, which is x squared y. And lastly, if I had x times y squared times the quantity of xy, well, then I have two x's and three y's. So my answer would be x squared y cubed. Now we're going to combine multiplying the exponents and the variables and now put numbers with it. So in our first example, 2 times x is equal to 2x. 2 times 2x is the same as 2 times 2 times x, which gives us 4x. 2x times 2x is the same as 2 times x times 2 times x, which gives us 4x squared. And here's the big problem. 5x squared times the quantity of negative 2y to the third power is going to give us negative 10x squared y to the third power. Okay, now let's solve some problems. So in this question we are asked to simplify 3xy times 2xbc and also 4x to the third power y times 2y. So in the first example, if we have 3xy times 2xbc, um, that's the same thing as 3 times x times y times 2 times x times b times c. So combining everything together with all of the rules that we learned, we know that we get 6x squared YBC. For the next example, we have 4x to the third power Y times 2Y. So that's the same as 4 times X times X times X times Y times 2 times Y, which gives us 8x to the third power Y squared. Now we're going to shift gears and go into polynomial and quantity simplification. Now polynomial and quality simplification deals with taking those one term 
polynomial expressions that we learned in the prior clips and multiplying them by some form of polynomials inside of a parentheses. So to simplify when you have a one term expression and a parentheses, um, you will use the distributive law. So the distributive law states that we're going to take this value x and we're going to multiply it by both of the terms inside of the quantity. So x times x and 2 times x. So that gives us a simplified value of x squared plus 2x. Come in. Now we're going to talk about polynomial and quantity simplification. A polynomial and quantity simplification involves using the distributive law. The distributive law means that we're going to take our first initial term and multiply it by all of the other terms in the quantity. So if we take x times x and 2 times x, then our simplified expression is now x squared plus 2x. Okay, now we're going to go to the next step. Now we're going to have um, two terms in a quantity and multiply it by another quantity. So when we do that, uh, we will take the first term in the first quantity and multiply it by each of the terms in the second quantity and also take the second term in the first quantity and multiply it by each of the terms in the second quantity. All right, so this gives us a result of x times x from the x times x, x times 3 from the x times 3, 2 times x from 2 times x, and then also 2 times 3 from 2 times 3. Um, by simplifying this result, we get x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. Now notice, as the terms increase in the first expression, uh, we're going to get uh, what you call like terms. Like terms means that if we have values that are multiplied by the same thing, we can combine them. So 3x plus 2x is 5x. And our simplified expression is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now in this example, uh, we have a quantity with two terms multiplied by a quantity of three terms. So what we're going to do is take the first term in the first quantity and multiply it by each of the terms in the second quantity. And then next we're going to take the second term in the first quantity and multiply it by each of the terms in the second quantity. Once we do that, we get the simplified expression answer of 4x to the third power minus 4x to the second power minus 7x plus 12x squared minus 12x minus 21. Now notice I have underlines and double underlines. Those are to indicate the like terms in this expression. So negative 4x squared and positive 12x squared are like terms. So when we combine those together, we get positive 5 x squared. Also, negative 7x and negative 12x are like terms, and when we combine those, we get negative 19x. We bring down the rest of our term. And now this is our simplified answer. Well, again, this lesson was to teach you how to uh, multiply polynomials. Um, as we learned that polynomials can appear in um, different different ways. Um, they can appear in one term expressions and they also can appear in quantities. Um, so as always um, if you have any questions or if you need any additional materials feel free to contact me through email or by phone. Thank you.